Hi guys, this is Mark at Optimum Technology Transfer. Today we're going to be looking at using Excel's VLOOKUP function, V for vertical. What's the scenario? Well, we have a grade table with a series of marks and a series of grades. And this is all about student one. Now, student one has achieved a mark of 69. In a particular exam and what I would like to do is to determine what grade that particular student is having achieved a mark of 69 and I'm going to use Excel's VLOOKUP function to do exactly that so I'll begin the function formulas of course in the usual way equals it's a VL there's only one VL function anyway in Excel and there it is I'll press my tab key to pick it up the lookup value is going to be the mark that this particular student has achieved which is in cell G5 so that's my lookup value whatever's in cell G5 at the moment so look up that value comma separator the next thing you have to tell Excel is well okay that's the value that you'd like to look up but where would you like to look up that value my table array is there my series of marks and my series of grades in this particular case again for this example c5 colon d8 and then a comma separator i then have to tell excel of the various columns that i do have in this table array where is your information well i'm looking to find the grade which is in column two the second column in the table there is a fourth and final argument as of course we can see from our square brackets it is an optional argument that's what those square brackets do always indicate in an excel function i'll just simply close off my brackets although i don't really have to do so and press my return key and there we go this particular student one uh, has a real result of uh, achieving a mark of 69 in this particular exam is gets a merit Let's have a look at that again. Just press my F2 function key on that. So there's the formula, the VLOOKUP formula. Equals VLOOKUP open brackets. G5 is the lookup value, comma. C5 colon D8 is the table array. That could, of course, be a range name, but that's for another video. Comma, the column index number is 2. Now, my second example is all about years and tutors. So we have a year and a tutor table, series of years, school years, for example, a series of tutors. So, for example, year 11 is tutored by Mr. Davis. Year 8 is tutored by Mr. Dillon. Now, there's a year 11 in here at the moment, uh, and I would like to determine uh, who actually tutors year 11. Another perfect example of using a VLOOKUP equals VL. Press my tab key to pick up VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be the year, comma. The table that contains my years and my tutors is here. In this case, C15, colon, D20, comma. Which particular column are the tutors in? Because that's what I'm interested in finding out. Well, they're in the second column again. In this particular case, for this particular example, I am going to use that fourth and final optional argument. I'm going to use false, which is an exact match. As of course we can see here, a VLOOKUP can be a true or an approximate match, or it can be a false or an exact match. In this particular case, I feel a false or an exact match is more appropriate. Press my tab key to pick up the highlight and then press my return key on my enter key on the keyboard. So apparently the year 11 students are tutored by Mr. Davis. What if I change the year, change it to 13, for example? Well, there we can see, of course, that the year 13 students are tutored by Mr. Curtis. Once again, let me guys F2 on that so we can have a look at that uh, second V or vertical lookup in a little bit more detail. So again, it's an equals V lookup, open brackets, G14 is the lookup value in this particular case, comma, C15 colon D20 is my table array, comma, two is the column that I'm interested in getting the information from, and it's a comma false in this particular case to make it an exact match. Now, we can see very, very clear. I'm sure you guys can, of course, see here. Um, this is actually Excel 2013. Um, the same kind of idea applies to, you might, you guys might be using 2010, 
will look a little bit different. 2007, of course, will look a little bit different again. Or 2003, even, VLOOKUPs Cups have been around a long, long time in Excel. The next video, we'll be looking at H lookups or horizontal lookups. Do look out for my, uh, my next video.